Culprit, a red 1973 T-Bird. Its owner, Maxine Kirkpatrick of Eugene, left it running in park while she mailed a letter. That's when the car rebelled. Quietly slipping into reverse, the T-Bird embarked on a circular path of destruction. Maxine Kirkpatrick tried twice to get into the car to stop it, but to no avail. Meanwhile, as word got out, a crowd gathered, and a carnival atmosphere developed, each spectator trying to answer out loud the question of the hour, how do you stop a car with no driver? But not everyone was having such a good time. The police had very real concern that the car could down power lines or suddenly straighten itself out and head into the crowd. Nearby shop owners were also worried as each of the T-Bird's revolutions brought it closer to the storefronts. The police called in Ken Cox of a local towing firm. Cox wanted to block the T-Bird's path with an old wreck, but he opted for a more dramatic solution. Cox's first attempt to get into the car was unsuccessful, but undaunted he tried again. This time he broke the window and climbed inside. Moments later, the car sputtered to a halt, and Cox got a hero's welcome. Even after her runaway car was brought to a halt, Maxine Kirkpatrick was still badly shaken. What had been a one-ring circus for most people had been a nightmare for her. Scott Miller for ABC News.